Okay, here's another problem that we didn't have time to do in class today. So we want to find tangent of theta. We know it equals one third. We know theta is acute and we want to find all six trig ratios. And so basically you have to remember that in trig, your triangles are always in the bow tie position. So our triangle is going to be right here. It has to be in the first quadrant because it tells us right here that theta is acute. And so we know we're dealing with something that is in the first quadrant. And so here we have tangent, and so you should know that tangent of theta, so katoa, right, the toa part, is opposite over adjacent, and again, it's just the division of sides. And so here's our theta, it's always next to the origin right there. And so opposite is this side, so that must be one, adjacent must be right here. And tangent never has a hypotenuse in it. All right, so next we have to look in our bag of tricks to figure out how to get that missing side, and so that would be Pythagorean theorem, and this time we know both a and b, so we have 1 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared, um, add those together, that's 1 plus 9, so we get 10, and so c equals the square root of 10. Now again, 10 doesn't simplify. If it would, if it were like the square root of, say, 8, we'd put 2 radical 2. All right, so now we have all our sides, so I'm going to put my square root of 10 there, and so now we can go ahead and we can figure out our trig ratios. So I usually do them in order. So sine of theta, uh, cosine of theta, so ka toa is tangent of theta. Obviously this one we know because it was given. All right, and then we'll do the reciprocal ones over here. So sine is so, so that's opposite over hypotenuse. So if I look at my arrow and I want to know what's opposite, that's going to be my one. And the hypotenuse is what, the square root of 10. Again, you have to rationalize your denominator, so I'm going to multiply by that. I get square root of 10 over 10 because the square root of 100 is a 10. There's my answer. Cosine is so ka toa, so that's adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So here's my angle. Adjacent means touching, so that's 3. And then this time we need the hypotenuse again, which is the square root of 10. Again, rationalize your denominator. So you get 3 radical 10 over 10. And it might be that the 3 and the 10 reduce um, outside numbers with outside radicals with radicals, but 3 doesn't go into 10. And then, of course, tangent is given. All right, so now we're going to switch and we're going to do the reciprocal function. So sine goes with the C1, which is cosecant. Um, cosine goes with the S1, which is secant. And tangent goes with cotangent. And again, these are just the reciprocal ratios. So I'm going to go back to my original. Here's my original right there. So I'm going to flip that to save myself some work. And that's an equal sign. It is definitely not negative. So the square root of 10. Secant, I'm going to go back to my original again. Because if I go to this one, I'm going to have to flip it and then rationalize again. And I made that mistake in my 8 o'clock class. Not going to do it again. So go back to the original. Square root of 10 over 3. And then the last one, I'm going to flip that and get three. All right, so that is how I would find the exact answers to the trig ratios for those problems.